in this tutorial i am going to show you the loop in php this is very 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 important and you must have to be um, the concept of loop very well in order to work with any programming language so what is loop loops are used to execute the same block of code again and again that means you will do a task multiple times again and again and the loop will work until a condition is going to be false that means you will do a task until i tell you to stop it so in order to stop it i will have to give you a condition that means you will do any task until the condition is fulfilled so that is actually the loop and the types of loops are in php there is while loop do while loop for loop for is loop for is loop is actually the special loop for the php language and while do while for etc are the loops for any other language in the world let's i am going to you know, work with the while loop first and i will give practical example if i do not give practical example it is actually very hard to understand uh, the while loop structure is this that is you will have to put while then you will put a condition if the condition is true then the whole thing in this block will be executed i am going to show you for example the while loop structure is like simply this i am going to tell that the variable a equal to 1 now in the while loop what i will do i will increment the value of a or simply i will do for example this thing bangladesh but if you do not give any condition here it will go to be an infinite loop so the browser can become hand and the application can have a problem so become sure there is a condition in order to end the loop for example a less than 10 then it will be executed so the loop uh, i put an initial value here that means a loop must uh, in order to uh, run a loop you must have a variable uh, that you will use a uh, as a co condition and you must have to give the breakpoint here you see that the breakpoint is a less than 10 that means uh, it will run until the condition is true that means the variable a is 1 outside the loop i initialize it as 1 and this when i will be in this loop it will just run and do uh, echo the print that means i am going to newer new line and here first time it will check if this is true or false a is less than 10 that means 1 is less than 10 so it is true so it will go here then the next iteration loop means after fulfilling this condition it will not break from this line that means for example in the while loop it is true so it will print so from this it will go back to while again it will not go outside here that means it will not come here when the condition is fulfilled it will do some task then it will again go back to the while he will see something and if i do not change the value of a then always on will come here and always on is less than 10 that means actually this is an infinite loop in order to stop this i will have to increment something a plus plus that means first time it will come into the loop when a equal to 1 then after printing the information here echo bangladesh then i am going to increment the value of a that means now the value of a is 2 then it will jump to the while loop again now a will be 2 2 less than 10 so it is also true then again increment it will be 3 then 3 less than 10 again come in this way when the value of a will be 10 so 10 less than 10 is a false statement then it will as uh, a when a equal to 10 and here when i will check in the while it is false so this statement will not be executed anymore and it will jump from the line 5 to from uh, to the line number 9 that means if any time the condition becomes false then loop will exit now let's check it 
I refresh, you see this one as output. Each time I am getting a value of A and it is printing when 10 times the value is in the output, that means when A equal to 10, it will be break from the loop. So this is actually the condition of a loop. I can do one thing again, I can use the while loop in another way. That is for example, here I give 1. 1 means this loop will run when it is true until I use the break. That means a equal to 1 and this loop will be run. a plus plus is okay. Uh, I print something then a plus plus a plus plus but here I will have to tell something. That means if a greater than 4 then in this if condition I will call break. Break means in order to break from any loop any time using any condition I will have to use the break statement and it will straight out you from the loop. When into the loop you use break into any place that means it will straight out from the loop so now I refresh you see that four times it is going to be printed so you can use the loop in this way too so I am going to copy I am not going I am going back to the previous code So previous code was like this okay and the new code is here now I am going to put all as commented this is actually the um, loop basic so you get total three things here one is initialization that means in order to run a loop a variable must have a initial value remember it Another one is increment or decrement that means you must have to use a plus plus or a minus minus or a plus equal to 5 or anything but must be increment or decrement. Another one is condition that means a loop you must have to give a condition when it will break otherwise the loop will not break. So for any loop these three things you must have loop means you must have these three items so remember it now while loop and do while loop are exactly the same How only on difference that is the in the case of do while for example this loop i want to convert into the do while similar logic no change only here i will not be able to write while i am going to cut it put it do and here i will paste it with this so this is the change when do will be ended i will write while but here i will not put any semicolon the semicolon will be after the while this is actually do while if you refresh you will see that the same output is here so okay i am now going to another loop that is for loop and that is actually most important loop that we mostly use but frequently use you see that here is a PHP statement uh, remember that I can remove the last one always I can use this the PHP statement must be used um, uh, when a PHP block will be started I must have to give it but if you want you can just omit the last one that means this one you can put or not put no problem here so i am going uh, to run here the for loop the for loop structure is a bit different that is the initialization you have to give in the first parameter like this total three parameters will be here for example i equal to one i give here i less than equal to 10 that means how many times this loop will work what we gave in the middle point of while loop that one i am going to give it here i means iteration you can put any variable here i a anything you can put here then i plus plus that means into this parenthesis i give everything 
the total three things initialization increment or decrement and condition i put all the things into one parenthesis first one will be initialization second one will be the condition up to which the loop will be run and third one is increment or decrement here now i want to put to output bangladesh so it will be shown how many times 10 times you see that 10 times bangladesh is coming here as there is no gap it is showing like this i am going to put here a beer like this if i want to put the bangladesh 100 times we can easily do that refresh and it comes 100 times right so this is actually the advantage of loop using the loop i can do any calculation very easily i can put anything show on the output very easily using the loop if in php i tell you to print bangladesh 100 times what you will do you will just put one solution is like this bangladesh now you co copy and paste it 100 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 in this way you will calculate and print it but this is not a good idea and you will never be able to do that if i put you uh, to print the bangladesh 10000 times then what i will do it is a very time consuming uh, work and very boring task so in those cases loop is used also in some calculation mathematics calculation we can use the loop i will show you everything step by step i am going to show you here just the basic so that you understand the basic for example i want to print 1 to 100 in your screen 1 2 3 4 in this way i will print 1 to 100 numbers in the screen what you will do here say that i can use just the value of i and then i put a space for example like this i concat a string that is actually a space now if i refresh you will see that in the screen it is printed 1 to 100 so only this uh, three lines of code give me this data so in this way you can do like this when i equal to one you, how it actually works the program first come here it searches for the initialization i equal to one then it check it and get it then it check if this one is less than equal to 100 yes it is true as it is true it takes the value of i in its hand but it does not increment that time it just output this and then it increment it then when it comes second time in the loop back it then what it does then the value of i is changed then the updated value of i is 2 then it is checked that if 2 is less than 100 or not in this way it works that means for the first time i equal to 1 it comes to the loop um, loop it check if on less than on less than equal to 100 and then it increments the value that means i plus plus so 2 but it keeps in its hand output is 1 right like this in the second iteration i equal to 1 will never work again it will be the update value that means 2 2 is less than equal to less than equal to 100 it is checked then it keeps 3 in its mind and then output is the value of i that is 2. Third time which was in its mind it comes here and then less than 100 and then it keeps 4 in its mind and then output is 3. In this way actually this loop works. Okay I hope you have understood here instead of i plus plus I can increment it by 5. So it will uh give a gap here if i refresh you see that 1 6 11 16 that means a gap is here 5 so i hope you have understood the logic behind it so how it will iterate it will come here first the initialization is 1 1 is less than 100 then instead of 2 what will be here 1 uh, plus 5 that means it is 6 
it is in my mind but print will be one then next time the six will be checked with hundred then with six it will be added more six okay so in a more five that means 11 so output will be six but keep 11 in the mind then 11 will come next time and it will add here 16 then print 11 in this way this loop will work i hope you have understood this logic and more practically i will show you that later this is a total three loops that i show you another one is for each loop for each loop actually works with array so after the array lecture if i come here it will be more convenient for you but i am going to show you for now for example i declare an array and you can array, uh, declare an array like this or you can also declare an array like this so no problem for example here are some values i am going to give some country names usa then australia then canada like this now i am going to show all the array data using a loop so in that case i will have to use the for is loop and here what i can do i can put array remember that for is loop has first parameter will be here array then you will have to use as then i will give a value here that means this loop i will break into some pieces some piece total three piece will be here that means three parts or piece so each piece will come in a value so here if i print value each time and concat a br with it so when this loop will iterate i will give the array name and as value that means this array will be parted or will be separated by a variable that is value so each time i call a value i will get this data so now let's check refresh it you see that first one value is this second one value is this third one value is this so in this way i can easily show the for each loop and there is another array we know like this one and here we can use a key value pair into the array in array class you will understand so here this can be like this here is uh, actually this will be like this uh, username for example this is an array rfin is uh, it can be mixed up i can put uh, a string mm, uh, after that into the it's set into an array uh, so no problem and here is password for example one two three four this array i want to break with the for each loop so here you see that this is a key pair value this was only value but here this is a key pair value so in this case if i want to use the for each loop here i will have to use here key value that means this is a key pair i will have to tell here so here i can print the key and pair both so key here i can concat like this uh, key is this that means the key value and value is this that means the main value so here it will be concat like this okay so key and value uh, can be shown into this way now let's refresh it you will see that key is username and value is this key is age and value is this key is password and value is this so this is key this is value this is key this is value this is key this is value in this way you can just show the value in a good format so this is actually the uh, work uh, actually the thing how the for each loop works we can also uh, break the normal array using the for loop for example instead of this type of array if i use a normal array for example some integer value like this like this 
and I call it into an array. I can easily use the for loop, for loop here because there are indexes. That means it is in the zero index. It is one index this way. So here I can call i equal to zero. Then i equal to how many values are here? Zero from zero, it will go zero, one, two, three. That means less than four. I plus plus. And here I can put uh, out uh, show the output like this array of i. This will be new line. And now if I refresh, you will see that all the values come. That means I put all the values, uh, all the key value, uh, all the values of an array. I am going to show using the loop. Here you see that the index zero from zero it will be start counted. So I give the initial value zero. Here I can put i less than four or equal to three. Both are same because i less than equal to three means it will go up to three, and less than four means it will go up to three. Because when uh, I uh, the value of i uh, that will come four, it will false. But when i will be three, it will true. And here, if I give here equal to three, then the same thing occurs because it is less than or equal three, right? So this is given here, and each time it will be incremented by one. We know that normally, if I want to show any index of an array, what do we do? A R R of zero. What does this mean? A R R of zero means actually twelve. A R R one. This means actually this one. Error of two. This means this value fifty five, and error of three means actually seventy seven. This we already know because in the array class we will discuss more about it. So you will be um, understood very easily that just I give uh, to show you how the for loop works here. I hope you have understood the logic behind the loops in PHP.